Hello there. I wanted to give you a quick overview on how IGMS can save you time while you grow your business. But first, let me share with you our most recent integration with HomeAway, Vervo, or VRVO as they recently rebranded. Once you have created an account, this will be the first screen that you will see, which will be to connect your Airbnb account via API. Thanks to our partnership with Airbnb, your account will be successfully secure within their platform. If your account is listed within HomeAway, then you will have the ability to go ahead and complete everything from our platform. The next step, once your accounts have been fully integrated with IGMS, you will have access to your inbox where you can see the first and last name from your guest, the channel, the best contact number, and the number of guests have coming for that reservation. You notice here that it's blue and purple icons. So what that means, the blue ones that were created for everyone, which is as part of the message automation, and the purple ones were actually for that specific property. Because with IGMS, you can actually automate every message that you need in order for you to save time. This is the inbox where you will communicate directly for your guests. So you won't have to visit Airbnb and HomeAway anymore since you can actually manage the guest communication, add it to do, the mini calendar. And then of course, you can also understand the reservation by simply clicking right over here or just right over here. These are the dates. This is the check-in and the checkout time. And if you need to make an alteration for the reservation that is coming from Airbnb, please feel free to do it within our platform. That way you can actually send a special offer, um, do a manual price, and anything else that you require for that specific reservation during the following days. If you need us to help you with your guest communication, we have a partner um, which is actually Aircoms. Uh, they will actually may be managing your communication 24 seven. So for more information, please visit them on the following link right up here. Moving on, the multi-calendar is what you will see all the properties that you have within IGMS. And you see here, you can actually group them into just one or maybe single, and then actually send them Vervo, HomeAway, or Airbnb, uh, all, all the channels, and you can send them to just one calendar. The little person tells you that you have a cleaning task that needs to be assigned. And before we jump into that, this is how many cleaning tasks you have for the specific day. So you have 20, 10, 13, 16, and so forth. If you see here the letter C, that tells you there is a cleaning task that has already been assigned and the check mark that has been completed. If you need to schedule a cleaning task from the multi-calendar before the reservation is takes place, like a pre-check-in, just simply click right over here and feel free to do that. If you'd like to have access to the single calendar view, so you can actually do a manual reservation, block dates, or block the dates maybe for the property owner who's actually coming to visit in case the properties are not yours. You can simply select the specific dates as you can see on the screen. And then you can also click on book. If it's zero because the property owner is coming or maybe because you did a manual reservation that you will put a specific number. This is how many people are coming in. And then in this case, uh, for demonstration purposes, this is what it will look like. And then you, what you can actually do is also create a cleaning task. If you need to disable that reservation that you just created, simply click right over here. And at that point, you will be back into the single uh, calendar view. You can actually change between months, years, and anything else that you like. Let's talk about reviews. So as long as you can create three reviews with a positive rating, the four or five um, stars, you can actually click on new template. And by clicking on the new template, you can actually give it a name, you can actually review the text, and you can use this template elements to make the message more personalized. So what that means is the, get, the guest's name will be coming from Airbnb, and you will have the ability to just make it every single time personalized. If you need to change the review before it gets posted, you just simply click on the review and you will see the options that are available for you. Let's talk about how to turn it on. So if you come into your profile, you can simply click right over here, and then you can actually click on Auto Review, and you can actually display this uh, posting for up to 14 days. Uh, that's another nice feature to have, uh, just because most people like uh, to use it two to three days, that way they get a chance to make sure that it's the right review for Airbnb. When it comes to task, anytime a reservation happens within uh, your Airbnb, your HomeAway account, or even other platforms, a cleaning task becomes available. Now, do you notice here that it tells you between 11 because that's the checkout time from your current guest, but nobody's checking in. If somebody's checking in, they will tell you the time, which is 4 p.m. This is how many people are 
um, checking out of the property. And this is uh, the other cleaning task, uh, pardon me, the other checking instructions that you will have. Your cleaner will have the ability to mark it as completed, as you see, and the your cleaner can also mark it as accepted, rejected, completed, and they can also give you status once they are actually at the property. You can also focus on the next three days, seven days, 14 days, and you can look for a specific day, and you can look for a specific team member just to make sure they know what the calendar looks like. If you just need to simply have a text view, click on the letter T, and you can see everything that you have selected for the next 14 days. You can also have a shareable link that can be sent to the person who's looking after the cleaning or maybe the head of cleaners. If at any time you need to create a new task that isn't a cleaning task, such as an inspection, uh, pre-check-in, Please come to the task section, click on task, and then select the property that needs um, the work that you're creating at the moment. You can change the date from this page, the hours where the person that will be at the property will be here. So in this case, 2.5 hours, and you can select any of your team members. If you needed to assign a cleaning task um, manually in this case, uh, you will go to the specific day, as you see. And then you can select one of your team members and they will get a notification via text, email, and they can also download the app to get push notifications. Let's talk about team and members now that we cover the task section. So I can actually have multiple roles such as the admin up to the property owners. Anybody who's collaborating with you will be able to help you. So there's many views that you can actually have. And you, if you wanted to invite in a team member, this, uh, this is what you can actually see. You can label. Um, and so, so let's take a look at one of our existing ones uh, that I have ready here for you to view. So I have Heather. So Heather is actually the cleaner and she likes to be notified via email. But if she wanted to, you could actually uh, be via text messages. So this is the nickname for her. This is the best email address. And if you click on permissions, then you can actually give Heather additional permissions such as a calendar view, reporting, task management, guest communications, and more. Otherwise, she will only be able to see the task that will be assigned to her. When it comes to access, you can give Heather access to all the properties. If you wanted to, you can also add a label that can actually be added to your property. If you want Heather to only have access to certain accounts, because with IGMS, you can actually have multiple accounts uh, in multiple lessons if you need to. Uh, if you want Heather to only have access to a specific property, then Heather will just have access to this property and maybe just a specific account, and she can also be the owner at the same time. Let's move on and let's talk about the check-ins and checkouts. So you can actually see what will be happening for the next three days for the checkouts. You can also change a single day and then you can also focus on both of them and then short view if you needed to. Very helpful for your cleaners because you see two people are checking out at 11 a.m. and if you click on the link then of course you will um, have the ability to go back to that specific conversation. You notice accounts and listings you can actually focus on the ones that you currently have on or off and then at this point if you needed to search for one that is specific simply click right over here and then anything that is related with the 3304, it will appear within your IGMS account. If you wanted to see the ones that are also with the same um, perspective, they will also appear. If you need to connect more accounts or more uh, within IGMS, accounts and listings, Airbnb, home away, and you will be back to the initial screen. Let's talk about properties. So with properties is where you will set up everything that we've seen so far for the first time. So let's take a look at one of the properties that we have listed on both platforms. That way we can actually group it. The first step is actually to give it a nickname. That way we know what the channel is. And then the next step will be to click right over here. We're gonna add a property group and we're gonna select the same property that is available. So once I group my properties, as you can see in front of my screen, you will have the ability to create message templates which they actually appear right over here. At this point, once I click on new template, I can actually create one template for everyone. So the blue templates that you saw at the beginning, or maybe specific instructions such as checking instructions, checkout instructions. Uh, it's always up to you when it comes to the automation. Please remember to use your template elements that will make your message more personalized. That way you can um, look the more professional. So in this case, I can say, let me just move this real quick here. I can say, hi, 
and then you can set the guest's first name, check-in time, is, and then you can use the next template element here, uh, which is right here. And all this information will be coming from the specific channel, either it's HomeAway or Airbnb. So let's go back to properties for now. If your listing or property is on another platform such as booking.com, what you can actually do is bring the calendar to IGMS, as you can see here. You can click on it, name of the calendar, and you can say booking.com. At that point, you can paste it, and then one final step will be to bring this specific calendar into booking.com. That way you can prevent double bookings and see where the reservation is coming from um, when you can actually take a look in your multi-calendar. Pricing, so there's three nice features that we are close to have for every single account within IGMS. So last minute discounts, minimum stay, and price fluctuation. For more information, please take a look at it on the right-hand side, that way you can get the most out of them. If you click here on the calendar, you will be back into the grouping property section. So you see here, home away, Airbnb, and you can actually differentiate where the, the reservation is coming from. If you go ahead and select this right over here, you can block the dates. You can also change the price, which will be reflected on both platforms. You can also change the minimum stay and add an additional note. So you can also focus on Airbnb, home away, and the little house tells you that the property is actually grouped all together. So this is what it looks like for the calendar. Depending on how long in advance you allow your guests to book, it will be reflected um, when transactions actually happen. So let's go back real quick to the management. So if you have a property owner or the properties are no yours and you manage them for somebody else, so please select the property owner for that specific property. That way they can gain access to their own listing with just the reservations. And you can always use the management fee tool, which depending on on what you do so if you only take the total rate whatever that means um, based on the reservation so 20 percent per reservation or a hundred dollars per reservation then this is all based on your own currency if you take a look at the vans that will include a cleaning fee rate um, let's talk about the cleaning so the cleaning test is one of the nice features that you can also auto assign so if i click right over here I can actually have multiple team members and they will get a notification as soon as the reservation happens. If the cleaning task is in the future, then, the rest, then they will get a notification a day before the cleaning task has to be completed. Here's where you should enter all that information that your cleaning uh, crew needs to know for that specific property. This is how many hours you expect in your team or the specific person to be at the property. This is how many beds do you have which you can also change in the hours where your team should be visiting the property. When it comes to the steal flow, you can also, as you can see here, only for Airbnb would allow you to unlist your property for the specific dates and times or whenever is not convenient for you. The next step, uh, let's talk about the keys. So keys, if you have an account with Key Cafe, uh, I highly recommend you to go ahead and click right over here and connect your account with Key Cafe. But if you don't, it doesn't apply to you. When it comes to reports, you will have the ability to understand um, the work quarters. So of course, it's mainly for your cleaners. So you can actually see that this is the task, this is the time that your cleaner went to the property, and this is how long between the following hours were spent. This is the property nickname, which is exactly what you were uh, seeing on, my, on the property section. This is how many jobs, um, how many visits, have been assigned and how much time has been assigned. If you need to look for a specific property owner, or, so take a look at it right over here. So let's see, so we can take a head, head of cleaners. We don't have anything yet, but if we take a look at somebody else, Heather here, she has nothing for the specific month, but we can also look for any of my cleaners that I have right now. So if I take a look at it, I don't have a specific property. Maybe you have, uh, let's take a look at it here and we can see all our cleaners. So if I take a look at all over here, this all depends on property owners. Uh, let's take a look at all the properties. And I can see here, now let's go back to look for a specific cleaner. And I can see Heather has a schedule, a total of 27 jobs, which is equivalent 74 hours. If you need to export this information for the month of August, 
please feel free to do that. And you can always go back to uh, the previous month if you need to, or maybe to a different account in case you have multiple accounts. Let's talk about the transactions. So anything that goes um, in and out from your Airbnb uh, accounts or properties or listings can be reflected here. So as you see here, this is the account where everything went to. You can change between months, you can change between property owners, and then you can export this information into a CSV file as well. Next will be actually our list of uh, reservations. So here is uh, where you will find all the transactions that happen between Airbnb, Home Away. So if I take a look at one of my properties, so right over here, I will understand that this is the time, the date, how many guests, how many nights, and if you have added the tax to your account within uh, Airbnb or Home Away, it will be reflected here. Any of those two changes will be on those two specific platforms. You can also switch between dates, the account, and you can again export that information into a CSV file. When it comes to the summary, you can understand all the all the nights they are sold, the total revenue plus your cleaning fees. If you take a look at it here, this is what we're looking at for the month of August. You can go back to the previous month or even the previous year, depending on how much data is within your account. If you'd like to print this out, please just click right over here and you will be all set. Lastly is actually our help desk. So with our help desk, anything that we uh, discovered today, you will be able to find it, such as how to assign a cleaning task uh, and everything else. If you still can't find what you're looking for, I will highly recommend you to touch base with our support team. So they are actually the, the best way of uh, getting help, uh, setting up your account, questions, suggestions. Um, they're available seven days a week. Um, the best way of contacting them is actually via chat. So if you click right over here, you can ask us anything and uh, we will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and being part of IGMS.